Majesty. Um, sir, are you okay? Hospital? Yes? No? Master, the simulation appears to be stable. Everything is as it should be. May I rest now? Yes, you may rest. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Master. How long have I been here? When did I stop counting the days? When did I abandon all hope and resign myself to an eternity of darkness? I miss my family so very much. The more I try to suppress my sorrow, the more vivid my dreams of them are. Though I am confident that they are doing fine without me. After all, they can't grieve a father that they don't remember, right? Perhaps it's for the best. So much for sleeping. Well, that's peculiar. I don't remember coding that. No, this doesn't look like my handiwork at all. Did someone else override my code? Let's take a closer look. Wait, that looks just like Grilby's establishment. But the sign says... Sans? It's not much, but please, make yourself at home. I should. Hmm. How curious. These flowers. It's likely a mere coincidence, but they bear an odd resemblance, too. Do you prefer sugar or honey with your tea? Ah, I'll just put them both on the tray for you. <laughs> you know, you're the first person to have tea with me here since I moved in. Moved in? see. Asgore's marriage couldn't be saved in this realm either. Poor guy. Toriel was a lovely and benevolent queen. I always regarded her as such. However, deep down, I always felt Asgore was too good for her. And she wasn't there when he needed her most. I'm so sorry, little human. I promise... Your sacrifice won't be in vain. I miss him. I wonder how he's doing. My Asgore. You still haven't told me your name yet. Come to think of it, you haven't really said much of anything. Not much of a talker, huh? Why bother? Wingdings isn't in your vernacular. It'll just sound like noise to you. That's okay, though. I have a kid just like you. Real quiet and reserved. It's my eldest who got the chatterbox gene. <laughs> Just like his old man. <laughs> oh, that's good. At least his children aren't dead. Here, you look like you could use a hand or two. Ah, <laughs> please forgive me. That was an awful pun to make. <laughs> if nothing else, this Asgore had a smile unburdened by the weight of a royal crown. It looked good on him. And what were the odds that this Asgore's tea would taste exactly how I remembered it? Or at least, just enough to make me feel like I was home again. A place now only accessible to me in my dreams. <laughs> Wait. I'm... Dreaming right now? You okay over there? Have I been dreaming this whole time? The Asgore took me in. I just realized his attributes have been rearranged. But there wasn't anything about him that was unfamiliar to me. Like he was just an extension of my subconscious. But I remember trees and the red doors I came through. The red doors. How did I find them? How did they even exist for me to find? More importantly, how was I able to pass between worlds prior to that? Why can't I recall something so crazy?
crucial. That's because none of it actually happened. I never left the dark. Ah! <gasps> <sighs> 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 <laughs> what a lovely dream. <laughs> you didn't really think you could just crawl out of here that easily, did you, old man? But I can see you've outlived your usefulness. I suppose it's time that I replaced you with another... you. Who's a bit more capable. In return for your hard work, you are free to roam this world while it exists. However, when the time comes, you will be eradicated along with it. I must admit, I'm curious to see how you'll manage out there without your hands. Cause isn't that like your thing? <laughs> I'm not dreaming. This is real. Then what? Oh, wow, that really hurt. Oh no, I've assaulted Lesser Asgore. Forgive me, sir. What in the world happened to you just now? Are you alright? Curse you, Chara. Do I really want Sans and Papyrus to see me like this? Do I really wish to burden them with all of this? see you, Sans. Why are you here? You shouldn't be here. This world isn't safe for you. Where is your brother? Hey, Papyrus, come outside. Come on, let's take a walk. Explore the neighborhood a little bit. What do you say? Eh, uh, I don't know, Sans. Ah, uh, come on. Nothing bad's gonna happen today, okay, buddy? Trust me. How can you be so sure? I guess you could call it brotherly instinct. Let's go get a pizza. I had long given up on the prospect of seeing either of them ever again. Yet, lo and behold, there they were, on the screen before me. The virus had grown so much. Powerful? Awesome? Popular? Slow down, Pabs. And for why? Mm, why not? <laughs> why not indeed? Can you think of three more? Mm, Rad, ultimate, oh, wait, skeleton! Wait. Hmm. Since Rad is only three letters, how about we write Radiant here instead? But Rad, isn't Rad supposed to be short for Radical? Correct. But you see, the word radical has a variety of definitions, whereas radiant would more specifically mean that you shine brightly and bring warmth to everyone around you. Like the sun, for example. But Dad, I've never seen the sun. Only pictures. And the pictures weren't warm at all. You will someday, when I take you and Sans to the surface. But in the meantime, you'll learn all about the sun once we delve into astronomy and more advanced sciences. Will there be humans on the surface too? Will I get to see a human? How do you know about humans already? Sans told me. Ah, of course. I should have guessed. And just what else did he tell you about humans, Papyrus? Not a lot. Just that they exist and that you hate them and that I shouldn't bring them up because it might put you in a bad mood. <gasps> Oops! Dad, don't tell Sans! I won't rat you out. You are going to learn about humans sooner or later. Your brother is very intelligent, 
so I'm pleased to hear that he's also teaching you new things. So, does that mean it's true? Is what true? That you hate humans. Thank you, Sans. Hate may not be the appropriate word for it, perhaps. No, your dad doesn't hate humans. Quite the opposite, in fact. I think humans are fascinating. The data their species provides for my research has been seemingly endless. Every day, I learn something new just by studying them. Without humans, there will be no core, and my objective to supply the underground with efficient power would have been unattainable, to say the least. But more importantly, if not for them, yours and Sansa's creations wouldn't have been even remotely feasible. And then, who knows where I'd be right now? <laughs>